You watch a game like rugby, it's as if you're out there. You're describing the movements of players. You're describing the movement of the ball. You're looking at the size of opponents. Who has an advantage? Who's going which way? What they're going to do next? Some of it's anticipation. Some of it is description. But the most important thing is, I think, to remember that it's got to be enjoyable and fun for the audience. present and commentating on certain games and seeing certain things, they're highlights of my commentating career. We cover mainly Gisborne, Poverty Bay rugby and of course East Coast rugby, have gone as far afield as, um, you know, we've covered King Country at Taupo um, and I've been involved in live coverage of, of different events at Eden Park and things like that. Ben O'Brien Leaf is the name. I'm a sports announcer, I cover mainly rugby and basketball. I began commentating a long time ago. I was still at high school and I was given an opportunity to cover rugby. I was approached by the manager of our school's first 15. I was asked, would you like to cover rugby for us in the Gisborne Herald in the local newspaper? I said, yes. I had no experience. I didn't let on. I probably should have been honest with him and told him. So I got into it that way from a journalistic standpoint. As a player, I was a disgrace. But in covering rugby, specifically writing about rugby and talking about rugby, listening, I should have done more listening than talking, about rugby with people who knew the game, I discovered that I had great enthusiasm for it. And the great enthusiasm translated to speaking about it while it was happening. And that's really how I got into it. My love of rugby really began in 1987. It was the first World Cup. It was held in this country. Um, it was very important for us to play well. Obviously, the players wanted to win it. Nobody quite knew how it was going to pan out, whether or not um, games were going to be close, or whether or not you really would find out which best team in the world was at that stage, remembering, too, that South Africa wasn't involved. But I fell in love with it because it was a chance for us to do something we had never been able to do, and that is see the All Blacks play a number of games in close succession against different nations very close together and they were big names and they were big teams and they were all here within the country. There was a buzz because right around New Zealand these teams were visiting, these teams were playing and it was rugby fever, it really was. The first game I can remember covering for television, covering properly, I was, I think, yes I would have been 18 at the time, I was 18. Okay, that was 1994 and I was a lot thinner. Depending on whether or not it's a representative game or a club game, Saturday morning is spent either typing up or laminating notes, going through to make sure that your pronunciation of players' names, and so far as you can do it, is, is accurate, making sure that your timings are correct, e.g. we're leaving at 11, we've got to be there by 12 or half past 12 to do these sorts of things, they're essential. Sometimes you've got a referee's name and assistant referees, you may find that, oh, hello, that's been a change. Make sure that you know whether or not the officials have changed. If you say that the match is to be controlled by Charlie Henderson, you get out there and your match referee is David Smith, you're looking average. You can make sure that doesn't happen by double and triple checking as best you can. Rugby at that level is probably more about people and community, community ties. Um, a lot of it is about a huge event, a day out for people. It's about heroes and villains. It's not so much about statistics. It's about an event. It's about belonging to something, really. The people here are fantastic. You've got the entire community here. They're not people for whom, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a major event because it's what they do. It's in their blood. And so from that point of view, if they see something they're not happy with, they'll call out to the referee they're not happy with it. If they are delighted with something, they'll let everybody know they are part of it. And that, I think that's what makes it so special. Uh, they are themselves, there are no pretenses here. Um, they don't stand on ceremony. Um, and they care very much about how their teams and their boys play.